Well, three of nine accused in the murders and assassination attempts at Fort Hare University are applying for bail today. Now, the first group of suspects was arrested six months ago, uh, but there is no indication as yet as to when the matter will go to trial. Let's get the latest from our reporter, Ronald Masinda. Ronald, please just give us an update um, into this case and um, just tell us the latest um, from your side. Good morning, Baron. So, we, of course, we are expecting three suspects to appear uh, before the Dimbaza Magistrates Court. Uh, they are people who are linked or have uh, relations with the uh, police uh, constable who was based in uh, Madira Police Station in Mtata, Lindogutle, Manjati. They are applicant number one, Zimela Chileza, who is the uncle of Manjati, uh, as well as Peli Sankonyeni, who is the wife of the police officer, as well as Tamsanga Wekana, who is a friend of the police officer. Of course, Lindogutle Manjati has since been denied bail. They come to this... Uh, particular court uh, following uh, five other suspects, uh, three who were denied bail and two who had abandoned bail. They are Bongani Peter, who is accused number one, uh, Sikelo Mulawa, who is accused number two, as well as Wanini Kuza, accused number three. All three of the names I just mentioned are people who had links with the university, two of them being uh, former employees, while one was a fourth-year law student. Now. The other two people out of the five I just mentioned are also people who were alleged hitmen, and they are Mtobisi Kanyile and Mtobisi Lamini Zondo, who are from KwaZulu Natal. But the concerns are that this matter could drag on for a long time because the first arrest, the five suspects who were arrested, they were arrested during the Easter weekend. And there are concerns that there have been several delays, uh, delays uh, that have uh, issues such as load shedding. Uh, some of the people who are representing the suspects in court have been going to other cases and the concerns however is that also the state has been taking its time dragging its feet in its own investigation while the other concerns are that uh, the suspects themselves have not been appearing in court some of them accusing uh, police brutality to be one of the reasons why they've had to go and seek medical treatment but cause for concern for family members who have been of affected by the events that have taken place at the Forte University, uh, including uh, that of a fleet manager, Petrus Roots, uh, one of the two people who was shot and killed. Uh, Petrus Roots was shot and killed is outside of his Islamic home in May last year, while Mboneli Vesele was also gunned down uh, earlier this year in January, just outside of the vice chancellor's property. Mm. And I can't imagine, you know, what family members must be going through. Have you spoken to any of the family members? How are they feeling about this? So what we also know at this stage, and this is from the University of Forte, is that the family of Petrus Roots have uh, since uh, relocated. That follows the incident, of course, uh, tragic uh, events for them uh, during uh, that what took place uh, outside of Petrus Roots' uh, home. But uh, the Vesele family, who was uh, the former bodyguard of Sakela Bushlungu, uh, they've been uh, coming to court uh, on a regular basis. But uh, the concerns are that this matter has now been dragging on for over six months, and uh, they are trying their best to still come to court. But uh, what, when I spoke to the brother of Vesele yesterday, he is going to struggle because these delays are also uh, delaying his own activities. But he wants justice for his brother and he hopes that uh, this matter could go on trial soon. So what we are expecting is a formal bail application of the three people uh, who are linked to Lindokutle Manjati. And possibly tomorrow we could hear the outcome of this formal bail application. All right. Thank you so much for that update, Ronald Masinda. Um, we will be keeping this, a close eye on the story, of course, and bringing you the latest. Thank you, uh, Ronald.